Hello everybody and welcome to a Big C TV slash Thrill Seekers channel update. So what this video is going to be doing is kind of outlining our plans slash goals for the rest of 2019. We are already in August. We're getting towards the tail end of the year. There's still a lot of big things coming, including something coming later this week, which I'm going to talk about in full. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give everybody an update slash, you know, planning video for what we're talking about for the rest of the year. Now, first things first, let's get the big thing out of the way because, you know, it's going to be a big thing. This week, I am going to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World. It is happening this weekend. So because of that, there are going to be a lot, and I mean a lot, of different videos. They're going to outline a number of different things, and of course they're going to be split between the two channels. So to give you a rundown, we're going to do a Galaxy's Edge food tour. Now rather than splitting all of the food locations up into multiple videos, I'm going to do one big food tour where I try out at least a little something from every single food establishment in Galaxy's Edge, except for Olga's Cantina, because I didn't get that with my preview. Um, but I'll be doing everything else. Olga's Cantina will be a separate video later down the road. That's going to be on the Big C TV channel. On the Thrill Seekers channel, you are going to get a Thrill Seekers adventure where we walk around and explore Galaxy's Edge, see all the little details, see how the land looks, all that good stuff. We're going to give you the full Savi's Workshop lightsaber creation experience, so you'll be able to see how that process works, because I'm going to do it. You're also going to see the Droid Workshop. I'm going to build a droid, and you can see how that process works. And then last, but certainly not least, we're going to ride Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. So... That's kind of the gist of all the videos that are coming to the various channels. One for Big CTV, but it's going to be a big one. And then four-ish for Thrill Seeker. So lots of Galaxy's Edge content coming as promised. Um, a little bit later than I would have liked, but hey, I'm getting to go to Galaxy's Edge next week. That's a big deal. So that's that. That's coming later this week. Cool. For the rest of the year... Big C TV, I don't have a whole lot to talk about just because what we're doing now is kind of what you're going to get for the rest of the year. You're going to get sporadic Big C TV adventures. You're going to get lots of taste tests. I actually have several I might film today alongside this video. So if you see more videos, that's why. Um, lots more taste tests, taste test adventures. Um, one thing that I didn't really do a whole lot of this year, which I... I guess I probably should change. Haven't been doing a whole lot of gaming videos, and I do want to change that. So you might see some new gaming videos later on in the year, maybe Borderlands 3. Um, I've kind of stopped doing Destiny videos. I have gotten back into Destiny, but I've kind of decided not to film it anymore just because there are still a lot of big Destiny community videos. And I feel most of the time I'm kind of behind on what the big things are. So rather than trying to copy everybody else and do it much later, I'm just gonna enjoy Destiny. So I'm not gonna film really any more videos for it. Maybe when Shadow Keep comes out, I might do a campaign walkthrough um, and show off some of the changes that have been made for Shadow Keep. But like, don't expect a whole bunch of new Destiny content just because I figure, you know, other people are doing it. I don't wanna like try to rip them off. So, you know. Um, but I do hope to do a whole bunch more video game related videos, various games. Um, I do want to do more of our board game show. Um, we've released three videos so far. All of them were pretty fun. Um, I also want to do more fast food throwdowns. Those are kind of our big thing that we've been doing lately. So look for Matt and I and maybe some other guests, uh, to do more of those. Um, so it's going to be a lot more of the same stuff that you're already getting on Big C TV. That hasn't really changed, and that's not really going to change a whole lot. So nothing really big to announce for that, but, you know, 
if you're enjoying the content I'm releasing now, I'm going to try to do some more gaming. I'm going to try, try to do some more Big C TV adventures. Um, maybe a trip or two before the end of the year. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Now, in terms of Thrill Seekers, first of all, the experiment for trying to do Thrill Seekers on a weekly basis kind of failed. <laughs> um, part of it was it got monotonous for me. And I'm sure in that case, it kind of got monotonous for you, the viewer, because I didn't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over again. And a lot of times that's what I was doing. I was trying to go to a park, do a little construction update or whatever, and then ride a ride. That's pretty much all the weekend videos are. Now, thankfully, now that I have the GoPro, I have some new content I can do for water parks, which I'm sure you've enjoyed our videos that we've done at Aquatica and then the bits and pieces of content I've done at Blizzard Beach. There will be a Typhoon Lagoon video coming out at some point. I haven't worked out when, um, but I will be making a Typhoon Lagoon video so you'll get some slide cams and uh, a walking tour of that as well, as well as some more Blizzard Beach stuff. So more water park content is coming. Um, in terms of other Thrill Seekers attractions and big things going on, obviously we have the Halloween season and that's gonna be kinda up in the air. Um, I don't like saying that because last year's was not great, but a lot of the reason why I haven't been as consistent on the Thrill Seekers videos as I would like is because of my job. I am averaging about 60 hours a week. So on my weekends, I'm very tired. Very tired. And most of the time, I need the whole weekend just to recover. Um, combined with the fact that it's been a very, very hot, very, very humid summer, I haven't been super motivated to go out to the parks quite as often as I would like. Now, when the weather starts to cool down, absolutely. I'm going to try to go more often. Now, for Halloween season, you can absolutely be guaranteed I will be going to Halloween Horror Nights multiple times here because everything they've announced so far for HHN is really exciting. I absolutely have to check it out. So HHN content is going to be abounding. I will be going a lot this year. A lot more than I have the past few years. So hope you like HHN because you're going to see it a lot. Um, going to try to catch all the Halloween fall festivities around the Disney parks as well. Uh, and maybe I'll, I'll even pop by SeaWorld, see all their Halloween festivities. Um, I'm on the fence about the Halloween party this year. I did it last year. I might do it again. We'll see if I can get someone to go with, maybe Shelby. Um, I might do it again. So you might get another Halloween party. Um, now, like I did two years ago, I really do want to travel back to California because there's not only a lot of new stuff, but I also want to check out the Halloween stuff because the Halloween stuff in California is incredible and it can take up a whole week. But again, the problem is because I'm going to be working a lot of hours because I'm working for a location that is just opening. I'm not going to say what. Um, it's going to be difficult to get some time off. So I'm going to do my best. I want to try to at least get out there for like a weekend, even if I, it's just enough to do Disneyland, DCA. I like to do Universal. I like to do Knots. There's a lot I want to do. We'll see if it happens, but it's entirely going to be dependent on if I can get the time off. So our goal is to do California trip for the fall. We'll see if it happens. Same kind of goes for Christmas. Um, obviously last year we kind of went all out for Christmas because we didn't go all out for Halloween. I'd like to do something similar, maybe not quite as expansive. Um, Obviously, I want to try to do a lot of the Christmas stuff. They are doing overlays for the Very Merry Christmas Party this year, so I might actually try to do that again. I wasn't super impressed with it last year, but, you know, maybe it'll be better with holiday overlays. Um, and again, I would like to go out to California, do some Disneyland, do some Knots. Um, maybe, hopefully, go to Universal, see their Christmas stuff. Go to SeaWorld, see their Christmas stuff. Um... So there's, there's still quite a bit of stuff that we're going to be able to see in terms of the holidays that are coming up. And then, of course, the other big thing, which I'm 
probably the most excited about, is the opening of Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, the second attraction that is opening in Galaxy's Edge. Obviously, when the land opens, it's only going to have uh, Millennium Falcon. Rise of Resistance is opening later. I'm going to do everything in my power to be there on opening day. Obviously, the one in Florida opens first, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I get the time off. No guarantees. But my goal is I want to be in attendance at the grand opening for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. So that way I can give you a nice thrill cram and talk about the ride and how hopefully it changes a lot of things. That's kind of our plan for the rest of the year. I know it's not the most, like, exciting. There's a lot that we're planning on doing, but there's not any, like, big splashy announcements. And who knows? Things might change. Maybe we'll throw in an extra trip somewhere. Maybe something else will happen. Who knows? I like to leave things vague in case plans change. But one thing you can absolutely expect is we're going to keep releasing lots of fun videos for you to enjoy. I do want to start doing some challenge videos on the Thrill Seekers channel, kind of to mix up what we do. I have a few ideas in mind, as well as a few food challenges for Big CTV as well. So there's a lot of new content that I've been working on. Hopefully you can get that out to you soon. So that is going to do it for our little State of the Channels video um, for both Thrill Seekers and Big CTV. We got some good stuff coming, and I'm sure 2020 is going to be an even bigger year. Maybe not as big as this year. There's a lot going on this year. But we're going to try to do a lot in 2020 as well. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, follow us, um, hit that notification bell on both channels. That way you can be there when all of our newest content releases uh follow me on twitter at big c tv show and the thrill seekers show or sorry thrill seekers yt um if you want updates on what i'm doing when i'm doing them for thrill seekers i typically post what our park adventure is going to be if there is one uh usually a week early so if you want to see what that is going to be follow me on twitter Big CTV, I'm a little more inconsistent, but I'll try to start posting on there. And then follow me on Instagram, um, Big CTV Show and The Thrill Seekers Show uh, to see some cool photos and short form videos for each channel. That's it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on our next big announcement. Bye. <laughs>